Worklink Create explained. Worklink Create is a browser-based software, which means that you can unlock its full power using any Chromium-based browser to convert your 3D data in an augmented reality experience on Android, iOS, and HoloLens devices. Let's have a look at its core competencies in a regular AR workflow chronology. Worklink Create's power lies in two main areas, data handling and creating work instructions. Combined with its complete feature pack, ease of use and one-click multi-platform publishing, it becomes a one-stop shop to create your augmented reality experiences without the need of additional third-party software. At the source of it all, we start with your data. All mainstream formats are supported. This means that you can easily import data you scanned with your iPhone or iPad, as well as importing complex native assembly structures made in SOLIDWORKS or Inventor. All of this without the need of prior conversion. Now, let's have a deeper look into data handling. In Worklink Create, you'll find four windows related to data handling. The Asset Library, the Revisions Editor, the step hierarchy and object groups. The asset library is your home to import data. Just drag and drop your native formats and they will become available for personal use or to share them with your colleagues through company assets. This is also the place where you can manage materials and UI templates. You can find them under generated scenario assets. From the asset library, you can drag your uploaded assets onto the step hierarchy. The step hierarchy shows the 3D contents for each step and allows you to add, remove or modify its contents. You will be able to recognize the same data structures as you had them in the original software where you imported your 3D data from. The object properties panel will allow you to apply property changes to a selected object or material. This way you can for example scale, rotate and transform objects selected in the step hierarchy or change its material properties. Using object groups, you can group objects together for applying properties simultaneously. The revisions editor is a very powerful tool. Keep your data under control by retessellating and decimating data. You can use the revisions editor for performance optimization. What this means is that you could easily reduce the polygon count from an imported model from let's say 2 million to 500,000 triangles using a decimate to target operation. This is particularly important to optimize performance for AR purposes. Some quick recommendations on a good practice, maximum triangle count for HoloLens 2 and newer iOS and Android devices. Using decimate to target, this is an easy feat. On to the next big chapter of Worklink Create creating work instructions. We have four windows related to creating work instructions. The sequence editor, the UI editor, the checklist editor, and the timeline editor. It all starts with the sequence editor. This is your overview of all sequences and steps that are needed to complete your work instructions. It's the place where you select the actual step you are working on, highlight it in yellow, as well as visual code-free representation of connections between different sequences and steps. The UI editor allows you to create an overlay user interface, for example, to give you written instructions on your selected steps. The main power lies in the use of its large variety of templates, ranging from easy to edit menu pages to various content pages, enabling you to easily add pictures, audio and video. Preview the UI overlay by clicking on the View UI button. The checklist editor is a place where you can create end-user feedback fields. This editor also makes use of various templates, enabling you to easily request end-user feedback, ranging from text entry fields to multiple choice to requesting a user to take a picture. Toggle between the UI and the checklist preview by clicking the button on the top right of the UI screen. Timeline Editor allows you to create all of your visual instructions. For example, easily record part movement by using the record button and changing an object's position. Or highlight parts to draw attention with a highlight sphere or changing its color. 
While working, you can also speed up your workflow by using the key bindings window and assigning hotkeys. Or review your action history to undo and redo actions. AR trackers are important to anchor your 3D data to the real world. There are three tracker types you can choose from, and you can even use multiple trackers within the same scenario. One option is to use a markerless tracker. By default, a markerless tracker is created in the XYZ origin of the scene, but you can translate it to any plane or location you like. Such as in this case, the top of the engine battery. To align with the real world, you would simply need to center the camera of your device with that same location and tap to confirm the placement. The second option is to use an object tracker, the most intuitive experience for the end user. Use an OBJ file to allow the app to recognize objects in real life. This way you can overlay your experience accurately on top of an existing object. A third option is to use an image tracker. It requires a little more preparation, but it's a great way to ensure consistent tracking results when you're planning to publish your AR experience to a fixed setup with multiple different users. An author has the possibility to publish the scenario both online and offline. Both publishing methods will publish the file for easy consumption on Android, iOS and HoloLens using the WorkLink app. Online publishing will publish in the cloud and will make your content securely available within your company. Offline publishing allows you to sideload content, for example for use in conditions where internet is not available. For more information, please visit scopear.com.